I personally want to see what Crepo says about that bard. Take it away, guys. He's not here. We oh. him off. <laughs> <laughs> but we have some better things, maybe Xpeke and Soaz. Uh, yeah, first off, congratulations. Fourth place locking. In all honesty, is that a lot better than you had uh, thought it would be coming into the week? Uh, well, yeah, kind of. I was expecting maybe fifth place or something like this. And I thought, I mean, I didn't know how it was going to be, but I knew if when they said I want, they wanted me to play because of the champs I play, I was like, shit, we're going to lose and it's fanatic now. <laughs> Is that how it went? Did the team say that they want to play with you? Yeah, they just decide based on picks and who fits better against every team pretty much. And they were like, on blue side, it's probably better to play with him because we are going to blind pick mid anyway. So but they ended up picking Corky, so it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, in the end. Uh, I mean, it always should matter in-game, though, because you actually had a ve very good performance. Mm. Same uh, for the man in the top lane with Trundle. Did you guys expect the IEM picks coming in for Fnatic and then just had the Trundle ready and also the poppy that Gamsu's been playing like four games in a row almost now? Uh, we actually expected the, the, the poppy, like if they would black pick something, it would be poppy, right? Mm -hmm. So we kind of knew about it. We were thinking <coughs> they could maybe go Ramus or, or Trundle maybe. It's possible, right? But uh, we thought that if they would black pick something, they would go for the poppy. So yeah, we knew. Do you feel overall Fnatic has a very predictable pick and ban phase? Well, for for top lane, kind of because you don't you don't like play so so much, and they often uh, play the same thing in solo queue that they will play the the same week in LCS. So it's funny, but yeah, okay. a bit not not too much, but uh, certain positions, yes. As for the game plan, uh, Peke, we saw a lot of focus on your lane. You had a gank from Bard. You had an AD carry gank, the infamous AD carry gank. You had a gank from Trundle. Uh, what was up with that? Like, yeah, I, mean, I, <laughs> did, I didn't want to feed, you know? Gank my lane or get kicked. That's how I went. <laughs> if you show, you wanted to look at a couple of replays involving a. Uh, so yeah, as. I mean, we had something with yours, so it's just overall yeah. with Gams as well. So, top lane stuff in a lane swap. Um, first thing we see is. Uh, Source is greedy, greedy, gonna be a little bit greedy for waves, and he's gonna push out the top lane here. Um, do you remember the situation? Reckless and Cly shows up top lane, the wave is gonna push against you. So Fnatic actually decides after pushing you off the wave mm -hmm. to then recall with the AD carry and support and run them all the way down to the bottom lane. And you can see Gams on your minimap coming to top lane here. This play specifically, what do you think about that? So basically it's like, <coughs> as soon as they chunk me and I see them not hitting the wave, I knew that uh, the top lane will come and get the bounce. But in the same time, as you can see in, on the minimap, their bot lane is missing a lot of farm at the turret. So they're basically trading their AD farm for their top lane uh, freeze. But it's not like I'm missing so much, like I'm, I, miss, I miss maybe one wave. And then I went to top lane and we got the poppy flash with a gank from Bard. Mm -hmm. and, and I still like they didn't get the freeze. So I missed one wave for their bot lane missing like maybe two. So it's basically a trade that they're doing. Yeah, and it's also very interesting with Fnatic later on in the game, they keep putting Gamso in side lanes where he's not able to freeze the waves. So like he's slightly behind us as a top laner. And whenever there's a wave pushing out, they keep putting Gamso in that lane. And you actually went down and they killed him at some yeah, point. Yeah, the, the thing is, at first, they, they tried to put him on bot to freeze the lane. But I could just, we took me turret because of it. Right. Because I push him, I go mid. I push him, I go mid. And at some point, Swaz move as well, and we take turret. So then he realized it was not working. So he tried to push the wave. And, but then he died because he's like, uh, with full armor. I think he had some fire and one more armor item or something. So I just one-shot him almost. But is this on the team then? Because what normally you would see was you would put AD carry, support jungle, to push out the waves and then get the deep vision in the jungle they're pushing out like you guys were doing over and over and over so you have always a deep vision do you th think this is a team call or do you think maybe it's Gamsu saying you know i have to take this wave here or do you have any idea like what's going on uh, i just think they didn't have so much pressure like corky never went to side lane until he had package at level mm -hmm. 13 or something and poppy cannot win against trundle early on and at some point Peke was beating her as well because he was two level up with like a lot of items because we helped, we helped him a lot early on. So both of their heroes couldn't really go sideline so they didn't have much pressure and, and probably didn't get the the, the deep vision. But yeah. they can still force it but they just like didn't do it really. And it just meant you guys could do almost whatever you wanted on the map over yep. and over. Yeah, and uh, end up winning the game. Let's take a look at the bracket, the playoff bracket, because it's filled in. Because of this, you actually push Fnatic to the sixth place because of the head-to-head -head versus UOL. There it is. Oh, and oh, there ah, it was. There it is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so a really beautiful bracket, yeah. This is the playoff really nice. bracket right yes, here. Good. Now, I'm sure it'll come up again in one second. Okay.
there we go. Obviously, uh, Fnatic now ends up playing Vitality, and you guys play, end up playing the Unicorns of Love. What do you think of that matchup uh, as your first one in the playoffs? Uh, nice. Nice? <laughs> yeah. A little more? Oh, yeah. Um, well, I'm obviously happy I play against Unicorns. I don't know. They seem to be really strong against other teams. They always give problems to all the top teams, but against us, it seems like they played really, really bad both times. Like, the time that Tristan was playing, they did really bad draft, and against us as well, they were like a bit, even though they were started the game well, they were a bit clueless on how to play the, the map uh, really good, so I prefer to face them instead of Fnatic or someone else. Do you guys think maybe uh, Unicorns, so you said you prefer to play them over Fnatic, is this something where you guys just know exactly how they play, or like, why are they playing so bad? There must be a specific reason, like you guys maybe figured them out and you just don't know it yet? Uh, maybe it's that, because it was <laughs> both times against us that they seem to not play as good as against other teams. Like, when you see them playing against other teams, they seem to do smart things, have a good idea against us. It's just like they are playing, we can we can know what they're going to do. It's really weird, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see in the playoffs. I'd want to ask you who you think is going to play in the mid lane for most of those games, but I don't think I'm going to get a straight up well, answer. Th th I don't even know myself. You don't even know yourself. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows. So. So well, as we're going to decide later, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. What are your feelings so as now with, of course, yesterday you had a great performance as well with power. You were doing well, seemed to be in a good place. Playoff thoughts, playoff so as enabled. He was um, He was <laughs> We will see about that. Okay. <laughs> we will see about that. Well, in any case, congratulations. Fantastic fourth place for you guys. Thank you. All right. Well, it's time for a quick break, but when we return, we'll look towards the fight at the bottom of the standings between Giants and Rocket. Stay tuned. <laughs> 